Hello. I'm here today to show you what I got in my subscription boxes. Now, Ipsy and Birchbox are both $10 each a month, and BoxyCharm is $21 a month. So, Ipsy and Birchbox have samples in it, and BoxyCharm has full size products in it. So everything that's in the boxy charm is full size. Start with the Ipsy bag. Now Ipsy looks like the name is hashtag Ipsy Love. I'm guessing that's the main part of the card. So let's see what's in the back. The first thing I see is a blush by Model Co. called Cosmopolitan. And it looks like a pale pink blush. Interested to see how that works. The next item I have is kind of squished. I don't know if that happened in shipping or because it got frozen in shipping. It is, a, it is an Up All Night Volumizing Spray. I'm guessing it's Ava NYC. It says for added volume and texture, protects from heat styling for all hair types. Woo! Chen Glaze. I like chen glaze. And this is Marry a Millionaire. Not too fond of the name. But it's a tinsel. And it has all different colors in it. It has purple and pink and I'm not sure if that's a blue or a green. And it's got regular glitter and tinsel glitter in it. I'm excited to try that. The next item I have is by Cargo Cosmetics and it is a lip gloss I'm guessing and I can't say the name for it. Is it Angula? I oh, know it's A-N-G-U-I-L-L-A however you say that. And this looks like a baby pink gloss. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this or not. And the last item I have is a perfume by Joya Studio. I'm guessing it's number one. I'm not sure what to think of the smell. It kind of has a sharp citrus but also like a baby powder. All I could smell when I first opened it was a baby powder and I was like no no. But it kind of has like a sharp citrus to it also. I don't know. I might try that. On to Birchbox. Let's see if they did better than last month. See, I have a coupon for $30 off RentTheRunway.com, which is apparently a clothing order service thing. Not interested. Next thing I have is a Get Gorgeous on Us thing that says. Score a free benefit cosmetics, the Professional Primer Deluxe Mini with any full size benefit purchase on birchbox.com. And it says it's valid February 9th through the day I'm filming this. So that's not going to do me any good. Now on to the actual card. Not seeing anything on here that says really a theme that's calling all buddies, pals, partners in crime, and BFFs. February may be about a certain romance-focused holiday, but we're just as thrilled to celebrate those people who cheer us on, calm us down, and most importantly, make us laugh so hard we cry. Here's to friendship in all its incredible forms. So, let's see what's actually in my box. First thing I pulled out is an Amika Nourishing Mask. Oh, it's a hair mask. I already have like three samples of hair masks that I haven't used yet, so I guess I should probably use those before I use this one. I don't, like, I have straight, fine hair and a lot of it, so hair masks kind of weigh my hair down usually. Next thing I have is an Ico London liquid black eyeliner, which is awesome. I haven't tried this yet. It looks like it's a felt tip and my current felt tip liquid liner is almost out so I'll probably try this soon. That didn't come in a box but I got this cute little Ico London information 
that has the ingredients and everything on it. That's cute. The next thing I have is a Caudalie Paris Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. A gel cream hydrates skin and reduces redness. Okay, I might try that. Next thing I have is an Evil Loggy. I have no idea if I'm saying that right at all. Intensive Blemish Serum. It's supposed to clear pores and restore skin with patent pending YS3 complex. Whatever that is. Last thing I have is Juicy Couture Hollywood Royal. Yeah, I usually love Juicy Couture. Yeah. I might try that. I sprayed on this because I already have the thing from the Ipsy on. I don't want to wash it off. That's interesting. I'll try that out. I have like three or four different little juicy samples. So that's everything from Birchbox. Let's move on to BoxyCharm. Looks like it's kisses from BoxyCharm. First thing that catches my eye is actually this nail polish. Let's get it out. It's an NCLA polish called Heart Attack and it's just a clear base with a bunch of little heart spangles in there. Which would have been really nice if I had received this before Valentine's Day. Next thing I have is this Jing Ai uh, Velvet Shine Lip Jewel in Pink Abu. Look how they actually have on the box. Like how to say it. That's really nice of them. It's not too bad. I think it might be a little too bright for me. I'll try it out. Oh, cool! There's like this powder in a little jar. A cork and everything. The thing I don't like is that there is a sticker on the bottle that says what it is, but the instructions are on the box. So I'm going to have to keep the box. And it got all over. Next thing I have is Mistura, I guess. Uh, C2P Complexion Corrector. MrBeauty.com Which, that's interesting. New Cream to Powder Complexion Corrector is rich in coconut oil and shea butter with a silky matte finish that leaves your skin hydrated and blemish free. Instantly masks redness and broken capillaries and hides imperfections with one touch for all skin tones. Let's see how that works, but it's interesting. I'm willing to give it a try. And the last thing I have to get out is a little Modern Minerals Duo Fiber Mini Round Brush. I'm having to read off the card. This is supposed to be $15. This is one brush. I love eyeshadow brushes, so I will definitely use this. So that's everything that I have for BoxyCharm, and that's everything I have for today. I think that I actually like the BoxyCharm best out of all of them. The Ipsy wasn't too bad. I like the bag. It's kind of two-toned again this month. The Birch Box, other than the liquid eyeliner, I didn't really care for anything. I do like the Juicy Couture perfumes. But the eyeliner looks like it's full size. I don't know if it actually has 0 0.07 ounces. So I don't know if it has full size product in it, but the full size product is $16. So if this eyeliner has full size product in it, then it was definitely worth the $10 for the bridge box. So that's everything I have today. Down below, let me know which subscription you would choose out of these three subscriptions. If you know of any other subscription services that you think I should try out, let me know. These are just the three that I found that sounded the most interesting. And until next time.